Hey guys, so I'm on the walkover, um, the parking garage, but I wanted to let you know that uh, floor, uh, the parking spot for 304 is on the first floor. Right when you turn into the parking garage, it's straight ahead. So um, here is the um, little walkover. You do come in to where the elevators are. And then we walk right into 304. So first off, when I walk in, it really smells bad right here. It kind of gets better as you walk in. I don't know why it smells so bad, but it, it just does. Um, the you know the tile is okay i mean i i think you could probably clean this up and get this grout looking way better um than what it is because obviously it's supposed to be a light light gray um but these cabinets are in um really bad shape um this is um you know i guess it is a uh mdf board that goes along here and then they've antiqued, I think they've tried to antique these a little bit and make them look a little worn, but you can tell that, I mean, they're not, they're cheap cabinets. So they've had a leak under the sink. Yeah, um, probably a leak from the dishwasher, the countertops, you know, are not great. I mean, this could be cleaned up, but it, it is dented there. That's not in bad shape. Needs to be caulked around the whole top there. I don't know what that smell is. Oh, these don't even open. I don't know why they're doing that, but you can't. Maybe because the air duct. Just showing you what's in each of the cabinets, which is not a whole lot. Of course, you know people are gross too, so they've left a mess. Which, there's a bunch of tight lids over here. I guess those go to the pots from the next cabinet. Refrigerator's clean. that one. I did that. And that. Okay. Whoa. Oh, a lot of silverware. Okay, they, they had to wash everything. All right. But that still looks like you're missing a bunch of silverware. Okay. Looked at the kitchen. Whoops. All right, so first walking in, uh, of course there's wear and tear of stuff um, here that uh, the unit needs to definitely be painted. The carpet is in really bad shape. Um, this looks out to the hallway, but there is no turn. Switch. It is missing its little um, handle there. So um, I believe this is a full.
good size closet. This goes in, um, has the Jack and Jill. It is, um, I guess that's that cultured marbled stuff. Same cabinets, which don't look as bad. They're not as uh, warm as um, the kitchen is, but always above the, um, or below the sink, it's going, going to be like that. All right, so moving these doors a little bit. There's a pocket door that closes this off. So just your tub shower insert with the cultured marble. That needs to be changed. Must it out. Um, that's just a little plate though. All right. And then feeds back into the family room, just around the corner. I mean, maybe pulling up this carpet, uh, you know, it probably does have a lot of smell in it. And then, you know, the furniture is just done. So here is the little bunk room. Um, this does look like a, a twin size bed. So they said uh, adults could sleep in that. You definitely would want to have that fan on for sure. So, um, yeah. The furniture is just really tired. So is the drapery. I mean, does this have a... I don't know if this is a, a blackout shade. You probably would want to do something different there we'll go out there in just a second ceiling looks to be in good shape there's some dust from obviously that air vent tv has been manhandled by a child i think all right coming into the master they have uh, moved everything over of course this furniture is tired as well and um, so if you did that, I guess you could get a, um, a uh, I guess this is a full size um, bullet mattress. Here's your view out the door, which is awesome. That's what is saving this place, just that view. Um, all right, coming into the master, um, the vanity, um, has a few little marks on it. Um, not on the other side. Still has the same culture model top, which would be a huge uh, benefit to uh, change that out with possibly a remnant and maybe change that light out. The floor looks a lot better in here. We have a company called um, Escarosa, which I don't know if they can, they come down here, but um, this is what they use as a um, owner's closet, but they can come and clean the tile and the grout and then it seals it and it restores it back and you wouldn't believe how dirty tile is or can get. Um, it probably needs to be changed out and a little bit more lighting. And then the master closet here, it's a good size closet. You could have a cot or a rollout cot in there. Be a good idea. Okay. And so, master uh, bath, same as the other bathroom, same door. And then coming in here with the washer and dryer. The Samsung appliances. Uh, water heater is a 2016. It's a 50, um, there you go, October. It's a 50 gallon. 
And then this was the other thing that he said you could use as another um, storage closet. And the HVAC, which they usually put it in the serial number. So, but this is has, it could be a 2012 or 2016. Um, cause I'm not seeing another date, but I'll certainly reach out to him and, and find out. I'll take a picture of that just so I can send it to my, and then what is this? Looking for a date on this. And of course the serial number, it's um, No, oh, I don't see a date on it. All right. Anyways, kind of dusty in here and they have a, a pots and stuff in here, which doesn't make any sense. It does have a drain on the floor, so that's nice in case something were to happen. Just is, yeah, needs some definite work. Needs a nice, good paint job, some new flooring, you know, maybe some new countertops. It needs a lot, actually. All right, let's go out. I can't hear anything in here. Nothing with the pool. So we'll see how many people are out there. I haven't even walked out yet. Well, they're cleaning the pool, of course, so it's quiet. But what a spectacular view. And we got the blue water back. Last week it was brown, so this is super nice. All right, well, I'll get down there and take a picture of that. Um, but this is a, a nice little um, factor about here is having this large of a balcony. You have several different spots that you can sit. But yeah, I mean, this furniture could work for a little while. But I think we're gonna like the furniture upstairs. The doors actually um, opens uh, and closes pretty good too. I mean, there's no struggle. That's, that's uh, actually kind of nice. All right, well, I think I showed you everything and, and pointed out the most um, thing that I could, but I, I didn't walk around and show you all the walls, but they, I mean, it just does. In order to get the smell out, I, I would fresh coat paint everything, flooring. But this could be a great unit. Yeah, ceilings look all right. All right.